what is going on guys thank you all so much for tuning in my name is Kyle and today we have another collection video for you guys I know how much you love them so gonna go ahead and head out service some of my machines uh, collect the quarter see how much was in them and see my car is all packed up here with the big cooler so uh, let's go ahead and head out and hit that first location and before we go ahead and do that, please make sure you hit that like button and then subscribe if you have not already and leave a comment down below. All right, so unfortunately we're off to a, a rough start today. Uh, first location, I went to the, um, I guess you could call it the lock, uh, was turned around so that I have to go home and modify the key so that it'll, it will actually work on it. So unfortunately wasn't able to service that one. So I'll probably come back to that one tomorrow. And then the next location only had like 17 bucks in it for like two months. So that was pretty disappointing, especially considering that location used to do like 20 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month or so. So hopefully it'll pick up in the future. Um, time will tell. Uh, anyway, not all bad news. We are now at my second best location overall with just gumballs. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and head inside and see how much this one made today. All right, here we are at the uh, pizza place. This one is, like I said, my second best location overall. Uh, there was actually too many people around the machine for me to record me actually servicing the machine itself, uh, but I did get a little bit of footage of me uh, dumping out the cores as you can see here. And there we go. Go ahead and sort through these real quick. Um, I do have to try to get out any other coins that uh, are not quarters to get an accurate uh, total, uh, but it's not always perfect because you know naturally I am going to miss some of them anyway $91 definitely pretty nice so moving on to the trampoline park this location as you all know is just absolutely amazing and I actually have a new machine at this location that uh, you guys will get to see here in a little bit but here we go and service up these uh, four-way machines first go ahead and take out the coin bank now these four-way machines actually came with the route that I purchased when I purchased uh, this older gentleman's route. This is one of the locations. And then I took it upon myself to ask them if I could add some additional equipment and they let me. So I turned this location from about 50 to 100 bucks a month uh, from with just these two four-way machines that you see that I am stocking up right now uh, and then turning it into well you will see at the end of uh, me servicing this uh, location but as you've seen in the past that it is not uncommon for it to have two to three hundred or so dollars here and even more on this location uh, now that I have more equipment this here is the second four-way machine. Go ahead and get that serviced up real quick. Um, I do need to put Mike and Ike's in this location. I think I have too many multiples. And then I know I've been saying it for a while now, but I definitely need to upgrade my chocolate to 50 cents. Um, there's just not enough margin anymore to sell chocolate for a quarter and give them an amount that is honestly something that they're going to be happy with that they see as uh, reasonable. Uh, I do get some complaints about peanut M&Ms because I vend about five of them on average and even though that is about a half an ounce uh, people only see five peanut M&Ms and they are a little bit annoyed. Anyway, I got these four-way machines pretty much all set up. They're Venn designs in case you're wondering. Um, they're okay machines, but definitely not my favorite. Uh, but that's the majority of what the route came with that I purchased. They're certainly good enough earners, and they're certainly a good way to get started uh, because that's you know kind of the only choice I had with uh, purchasing the route. Anyway, moving on, this is the brand new machine I just put in here. Uh, put a shooting hoops machine in there and look at that. All of those quarters. It looks like over $100 in there, so very happy with the addition. And uh, here is the previous uh, 
machine that I put in. This is the vending rack, and as you can see, the gumballs still did good, even though there was the machine with gumballs right next to it that was interactive. Uh, and what I did is I actually changed it out for cotton candy flavored gumballs. So hopefully those will sell a little bit better, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, and then the other ones on the bottom are rings and then bounty balls, which I'm actually going to eventually upgrade to 50 cents as well. Um, but as of right now, they're just going to stay at 25 cents. Anyway, uh, up top we have the one selling for 75 cents a piece, the yo-yo balls, and those did pretty well. And the sticky hands are actually just about completely sold out, so got a few more of those ordered so that I can fill it up. Anyway, here we go. This is going to be the total here for what I collected from this location overall. Mind you, this is before I paid commission, so... Uh, it's definitely a little bit less than what's in there. Now, this is from the shooting hoops machine that I recently added. Um, like I said before, you gotta kinda pick through. Uh, but it had $138 in just this shooting hoops machine. And then once I add in the vending rack with all the toys and whatnot, it brings it up to $341.25, which is the high and average all together and I still have these two containers from the four machines that bring us up to four hundred and seventy three dollars and a fifty cents all right so interesting trip in there for sure uh, good news is as you can see that is actually my best collection from that location ever so definitely very excited about that uh, but while I was in the process of filling up the new gumball machine I managed to spill an a half a box of gumballs all over the place and uh, it was kind of embarrassing to be honest but no biggie it was pretty cool all the kids actually swarmed around me and uh, helped me pick up all the gumballs and it was done in like uh, two minutes so I gave them all some quarters uh, to uh, show my appreciation anyway guys on to the next location all right, so a uh, time for a quick lunch break. I actually got a coupon in the mail for some free sandwiches over at Chick-fil-A. So gonna go ahead and grab myself a free sandwich, uh, you know, refuel, and then uh, hit the road. All right, and this location here is a, a repair shop within a car dealership. Um, this one's kind of a average slash, slash excuse me, slash a slower location. Uh, 5125 for about three months and then this one here is from a uh, the Hispanic barber shop 64 at 25 all right so I just got out of uh, the uh, Hispanic barber shop location and um, it did pretty well like it normally does it did like 60 some bucks in the month so definitely awesome there but then he came up to me and was like when are you gonna pay us and you know we never discuss any kind of commission or anything I just asked you if I can put a machine in there and they said yes uh, so I said I don't pay commission on the smaller machines, but if you let me put a rack in here, because it is a decent location, like a five or six headed rack, I'll give you guys uh, a percentage of, of that. So he said yes, yeah. so even though you know I don't like paying commission if I don't have to, um, in this case I think it turned out to, you know, took a location that wanted a commission that I didn't really want to give a commission to. Uh, and it made it kind of okay for both of us. So I'll give them a commission and I'll have a lot more revenue coming in because I'll put to a toy rack in there. So I'll make a lot more money from that location, hopefully. Here we are at the next location and this is actually my very first location ever. Uh, it is a more of a to-go style uh, pizza place, but it does a fair enough. It does about 10 bucks a month. So not terrible, but certainly not that great either. All right, so just try to go into the next location. I went in there and uh, it's a pretty small store and I went in to start servicing it and he told me to just uh, wait on a second. Uh, so I did and because he wanted to talk to me but he wanted to take care of his customer first. Completely understandable, I would uh, do the same myself. But anyway, uh, he said that he's going to be getting a like a cooler and he wants to put it in that spot for like drinks and stuff. And you know, honestly, I can't really blame him uh, because it is a pretty small uh, place and you know, I can't really argue with me making money in his store versus him making more money off of 
uh, drinks. So I told him I didn't have any room in my car at this moment, uh, but I'd be by shortly to pick it up in the next uh, within the next month. So not too worried about it. It's a slower location, so really not that big of a deal. Uh, but on the bright side, he also did say that he might be moving store soon, and that he would let me put a machine in one of his uh, in his other store uh, that has more room. If that does end up working out I don't know we'll just have to wait and see all right so I ended up deciding to uh, call it uh, a day just a few locations earlier than uh, I was originally planning to and that's because I have to go to another location tomorrow anyway so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, make another video tomorrow as well as a collection today uh, that way you know I've got a little bit extra content for the channel since you know I have to go out and uh, work on a few things on the route anyway so uh yeah, let's go ahead and count up what we made for the day all together. Anyway guys, that is going to just about wrap up this video. Uh, you can see I collected $643. It was actually $700, sorry, $673. Uh, there was another uh, bag of $30 worth of quarters that I hadn't quite put in with the rest of them when I weighed it out. So $673 for only four hours of work. Definitely not bad. Probably used maybe one or two, probably about say $200 worth of product. So very happy, about 430 net. Anyway guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and then throw me a like, really does help me out a lot and I will catch you all in the next one.